Hello, I'm Dr. Frederick B. Covington and I'm an occupational therapist. Today we'll be discussing visual memory, which was a question submitted via email from Ms. Anita. The technical medical definition of visual memory is that it's a part of memory preserving some characteristics of our senses pertaining to visual experience. It is the ability to recall information from visually presented information. Now, what does that mean? Here's the breakdown. This is a skill to help us remember and picture in our minds things that we've seen before. This deals with the information you have seen earlier and being able to use that same information later. This skill helps in many ways. Finding your lost keys, recalling information that you've seen before, and giving directions to a specific place. Visual memory is a critical part of academic skills as well. It allows us to recognize objects and to remember letters, numbers, symbols, words, and pictures. Now here's an example. Tremaine is a middle school student. He has a hard time in the classroom because he has been unable to keep up with his classmates when copying information from the board. He can never remember what he was copying. For instance, the teacher wrote a sentence on the board that read, I will go to the store and buy bread. When Tremaine is copying the sentence, he can only remember part of the sentence. So, his method of copying the sentence is to copy it in parts. He looks at the board and reads, I will go, then proceeds to write. He looks up again and reads, to the store, then proceeds to write. He looks up again and reads, and buy bread. Now, he has copied the sentence, however, it took him longer than his classmates. Unfortunately, this has made him fall behind in his work. Now, symptoms that may indicate a problem in this area include an uh, individual misplacing his or her belongings on a regular basis, or when calling items in the middle of the series, he or she must go back to the beginning, and also reversing words, letters, and numbers, and also copying words or works slowly from the board. As always, please feel free to leave your comments and questions here or email me at askthot at hotmail.com or askdrcovington at gmail.com.